The inventor of the Japanese torpedo is really a devil. They had the soldiers fly a large torpedo. Direct impact on a US warship. Die with it. Even if it cannot be attacked due to mechanical failure, it can only be buried at the bottom of the sea with torpedoes. Because the logistics staff has already locked the bottom hatch. This is the Second World War. The last crazy Japanese submarine. The submarine. It was modified around the Japanese Type 93 torpedo. The total length is 14.75 meters. The hull diameter is 1 meter. The displacement tonnage is approximately 8.3 tons. The hull is mainly divided into two parts. The front part is a cylinder with a diameter of 1 meter. The rear is most of the propulsion of the Type 93 torpedo. The maximum diving depth is 80 meters. There is a forward-looking mirror above the middle of the hull and a small hatch. Below is a large entrance hatch, forward of the submarine. It's a super bomb weighing 1,550 kilograms. It is composed of 60% TNT and 40% anti-explosive. Its explosive power is three times that of the original fish. The detonator is placed in the middle of the warhead, activated by inertial impact on the target. If the impact doesn't detonate, there are also two fuses designed behind the bomb for the driver to manually detonate behind the warhead. 775 liter oxygen tank for engines. The top is eight compressed air cylinders for vestibular steering to provide power. On the lower sides are 80 liter fuel tanks. Oxygen tank end. It is a less than 98 liter front kerosene tank. The center is the cockpit, except for a battery powered light inside. Lots of dashboards and controls. In the middle is a monocular telescope that can be lifted and lowered. The rear of the cockpit fits a different oxygen tank from the front and fuel tanks. This fuel allows the engine behind. Let the propeller provides a speed of up to 56 kilometers per hour in terms of manned submarines at that time. It's like nothing I've ever seen before because pure oxygen is used as the source of the oxidizing agent. Very little exhaust gas is produced by the engine. When a torpedo moves underwater, on the water, basically no obvious torpedo marks, because the Wishon submarine is a special torpedo, not much fuel is loaded. Only with warships, or transport large submarines to the vicinity of U.S. warships. The Japanese pilot will come out of the short tube below, enter the interior of the Hooten submarine, in response to the avoidance of some crew members. After they enter the submarine, the logistics staff will weld the external hatch shut. After the mother submarine has delivered the instructions, will release the submarine. The driver will sneak out of the forward-looking mirror, find the best impact scenario. Once the target is determined, it will accelerate and sprint forward. Unsuccessful the first time, continue to surface to acquire the target. Then repeat the process until it successfully hit the US warship and triggered the bomb. If it doesn't work until the fuel runs out, the pilot will go down with the submarine. According to Japanese Navy records, all use of Wishon and submarines, personnel involved in the attack, no one survived. 